Science is one of the most important things in today's world. We always crave for more knowledge, we try to know and be better at everything we do in our lives. Science is found everywhere. It teaches us about our planet, our health, our galaxy, really everything we can possibly imagine. Without science, we would have been a lot dumber. Thanks to the science, we are now able to discover new diseases, prevent them, and maybe even exterminate the possibilities of various illnesses. The science helps us discover new, unknown things about our planet and the galaxy we live in. We often hear of a new exoplanet that has been found. We often learn of new bacteria with different purposes. We are even able to determine the age of various places, bacteria, and artifacts. All of these things help us a lot in the development of us as a human species. We are becoming a lot more intelligent and we adapt much better to the environment. Science is serious, yet extremely fun. Egyptian tomb, the discovery of the world's oldest cheese. Last month, the archeologists managed to crack open a tomb in Alexandria, Egypt. Three extremely old skeletons were found bathing in a pool of sludgy crimson sewage. As you might have heard already, many people actually petitioned to take a sip of this just found sewage. Luckily, no one succeeded. How do people even come up with such things? Instead, let us focus on something a lot more important. Cheese. This ancient cheese has been found in an Egyptian tomb, and it is probably the most ancient solid cheese that has ever been found on our planet. We do not often get to discover a cheese that is as old as this, which makes this discovery a real surprise. We have been taught that aging usually improves the flavor of the cheese, and that is completely correct. It does, but it is not the reason why is this cheese drawing the attention of everyone. Patames was a mayor of Memphis in Egypt in the 13th century BC. This tomb has already been found once, but then it was completely lost under drifting sands. Luckily, 2010, the tomb was found again, rediscovered, and archaeologists have found various broken jars at the site. One of the jars actually contained solidified white mass and canvas fabric that was used to preserve the contents of the jar. Enrico Greco and his colleagues went ahead and analyzed the white substance in order to determine the real identity behind it. After purifying protein constituents, they have analyzed them with mass spectrometry and liquid chromatography. To our surprise, it has detected that the sample was a dairy product made from the milk of a sheep or a cow. This same cheese sample also suggests it is contaminated with Brucella melitensis. This bacteria causes brucellosis and is a potentially deadly disease that can spread from animals to people. This happens when eating unpasteurized dairy products. Ancient bird bones proving the human activity on Madagascar. Somehow we all fell in love with Madagascar after the animated movie came out, and that is completely fine. Madagascar is surely one of the most interesting places everyone once wanted to visit. It is full of life, exactly as it should be. A scientific team led by Zoological Society of London have discovered that human presence on Madagascar existed a lot longer than we have previously thought. After discovering ancient bones from the extinct elephant bird species, better known as Mullerornis and Epornis, scientists have noticed cut marks and various fractures that are connected to butchery and hunting. The bones were originally found back in 2009, right in Christmas River, south central Madagascar. The older researches on lemur bones suggested that humans arrived on Madagascar 2,500 to 4,000 years ago. Using radiocarbon dating technology, we have finally been able to determine when did these giant birds die. The analysis shows and provides evidence of human existing on Madagascar 10,500 years ago. The extinct elephant birds were actually completely flightless birds. They were widespread on Madagascar back in the days. Each of these birds weighed at least 500 kilograms and was at least three meters tall. For those interested, you can find the bones of these birds at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, DC. An amazing discovery, is it not? Knowing this, it is easy to say that these elephant bird bones are the earliest known evidence of humans on Madagascar Island. With all this information, it is really hard not to ask new questions. Who are these people and when did they disappear? What is the reason behind their disappearance? AI might be able to know your personality by tracking your eye movement. 
we often heard about how our eyes are the window to our soul. Apparently, our eyes can reveal how we feel and our thoughts. A research developed by the University of South Australia uses state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms to actually show the link between our eye movements and our personalities. The algorithm findings prove that the movement of our eyes reveals whether we are curious, sociable, angry or conscientious. The software reliably recognises four out of five personality traits – extroversion, conscientiousness, neuroticism and agreeableness. The research was done by tracking the eye movements of 42 different participants. Meanwhile, they were taking everyday tasks around the campus. The findings show that people who are optimistic usually spend less time looking at negative images compared to pessimists. People who are neurotic, they tend to blink faster, and people who are more conscientious have variations in pupil size. Seems like our eyes speak a lot more than we thought. People all over the world are looking towards personalised and improved services. Sadly, our robots and computers are not yet socially aware. This research actually provides us a chance to develop the robots and computers that will be a lot more natural and better at interpreting with human beings. Of course, this also has some downsides. If we make our robots so powerful that they can recognise our personality, that might lead to the manipulation and, in real, who wants to be manipulated by a robot? Study shows ageing can be reversed in mice. We all know that the process of human ageing begins around the age of 25. The earliest signs of ageing tend to be greying, wrinkles, fine lines on the skin and even hair loss. Ageing might not be stopped at all, but several kinds of research and products claim otherwise. A study led by Professor Keshav Singh, the University of Alabama, managed to reverse the signs of ageing in mice. Reversing the signs of ageing in mice means reducing the amount of wrinkles and growing back the hair of the mice. A healthy mouse gets induced with a mutation that causes mitochondrial depletion. The entire process results in wrinkles and hair loss on the mice. Just a couple of months later, the mitochondrial DNA gets reversed and the possible signs of ageing start being reduced as well. Another interesting thing is that when the gene is switched off, the mitochondrial function always gets restored giving the mice smooth skin and thick fur. This is a surprising discovery that might help out with various human diseases, in which mitochondrial dysfunction is a very important role. The oldest animal in the world, identified. It is very possible you have wondered about the oldest animal on our planet. If so, there are great news. In a discovery named the Holy Grail of Paleontology, the scientists have identified the oldest known animal in the world. First discovered nearby the White Sea in 1947, this fossil discovery finally came to an end. The surprising discovery shows the fossil fat molecules that have been found prove the animals were massive and abundant 558 million years ago. That is millions of years than we have thought previously. The fossil of this mysterious creature, named Dickinsonia, has been a very popular topic over the last 75 years. The fossil is oval-shaped, symmetrical organism that managed to grow up to 1.4 meters in length. The creature looks like it features ribs across its entire body and it is like nothing else we have seen before. The fossil was nicely preserved, but it was hard to know anything because the rocks containing the fossils have been ruined by pressure and heat. Dickinsonia contains a striking abundance of cholesterol, 93%. A planet in our neighbourhood might be highly habitable. If Mars manages to leave us disappointed with no living creatures on it, we might as well take a look at Proxima Centauri b. This terrestrial exoplanet is orbiting the habitable zone and it has just been discovered. This planet has a mass that is about 30% larger than Earth and the orbital period of this planet seems to be about 11.2 Earth days. One year equals 11.2 days. A team of astronomers from all around the world studied the prospects for this recently discovered planet. We all know that water is the key to life, but it is still unknown how much water does this planet really have. The planet is said to be at least 5 billion years old, and it receives a significantly higher amount of high-energy radiation than our own planet, about 60 times higher. 
And while the amount of water on this planet remains unknown, the calculations reveal that Proxima has probably lost about one ocean's worth, all thanks to the irradiation in the first 100 million years after the formation of this planet. Thanks to the technology these days, the scientists managed to create a sophisticated 3D model of this planet, and they are currently studying the scenario in which Proxima b actually has an atmosphere and surface water. Some scientists believe that Proxima Centauri b features liquid water, but only in the sunniest region, probably in an area in the hemisphere that faces the star or even in a tropical belt. Whether or not this planet is habitable, it surely makes it very interesting to know about. It would be great to see that the nearest star to the Sun is also a host to us, unknown extraterrestrial species. This has been six recent scientific discoveries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.